I'm DeWitt Jones. Over the past 15 years, I've given hundreds of presentations to, to corporations, associations, on creativity and vision. As a former National Geographic photographer, I, I fill my presentations with incredible stories from my travels and, and extraordinary visuals. I make my home on the island of Molokai. And when I lecture here in Hawaii, I love to, to customize my presentations, to, to share some of the magic of the, of the land and of the culture that you are about to visit. These customizations can be subtle or dramatic. They range from the addition of glorious images of the islands to stories of Hawaii and its people, stories that underscore my motivational messages, to dramatic set pieces designed for a specific client. All of them are designed to dovetail with and complement the Hawaiian experience you will be having throughout your meeting. One of my favorite customizations involves the, the integration of eight young hula dancers from Molokai in a wonderful presentation I call Dare to Dance. Let me show you a little bit of that presentation. But taken on the world, I mean even getting to the world isn't easy when you live in Molokai. You know, this is not an island of money and opportunity. Molokai is a tiny little agricultural island of just 6,000 people. Jobs are scarce. Unemployment is high. Those lucky enough to have a job usually have more than one. Raquel manages a small florist shop and handles mail delivery for two of the island's towns. Moana runs the school bus service, rising before dawn every morning to drive the children of the island to class. Now look, if I were to stop this story right now, it would be a good one. The devotion and Moana of Raquel to these girls, to the hula, the building of a halal good enough to be represented in the Merry Monarch, that's daring to dance in anybody's book. But Moana kept dreaming, kept thinking of the faces of the girls that she trained, of the joy that seemed to flow from them, of all they had to give, and all that they could learn if she could expand their world, if she could show them what lay beyond their horizon. More promotion, more fundraising, more dedication, more work. Moana didn't care. She had a vision and she was going to manifest it. And she did. She's taken the girls to Japan, to Tahiti and Morea, to San Francisco, to Los Angeles, to Orlando and Las Vegas to Belgium and Germany, dancing with groups from all over Europe. They've seen and learned from the people of the world, and the people of the world have learned from them. And the gift of their aloha has been returned a thousandfold. Through the vision of Moana and Raquel, they've grown from being girls of an island to women of the world, spreading aloha daring to dance. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Moana's Hula Halau. <laughs>
I love doing this kind of visual customization because it lets me share the, the beauty and the values of my island home. Let me work with you to create a, a truly memorable presentation for your next meeting, a presentation full of Hawaiian aloha.